All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're going to do a weapon chat here. And, of course, like, cue cards in the house. Oh, that's all right. All right, so, Pain with Diamonds, The Battle Ahead by Lothar Dietrich. 60 centimeters by 45 centimeters, 47 colors, and square drill. Put a picture here of the canvas. All right. Uh, 10, 318, and capital L, I believe we we're at. Sure. Looks it. Alright, yep. Okay, that looks to be what's in the tray. So, go from there. Alright, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a great day. Many people have today off. Uh, in Leo of Canada Day, so I had a day off anyway. Yes. I only work Wednesday, Thursday this week. Have my full time, so yep. All right, so we're just doing a gray here. I walked on the treadmill for a bit. Uh, just uh, started uh, reading Return of the King, the third Lord of the Rings book, a couple days ago. Or like last night, I guess, on the exercise bike. Yeah, so I started on that. Long chapters, and that's a juicy third volume. Like, oh, excuse me. My mom had been expecting somebody to come this afternoon into the studio, but she just, they didn't show up, so here I am doing a whip and chat, hanging out. It had rained pretty good today, earlier. Like, we had like a torrential downpour, and uh, some of the storm drains were uh, welling up with water because of the sheer volume of water that's dissipated there's clouds on the sky still but yeah I see patches of blue yeah we needed the rain but uh yeah some of the surrounding fields in this area are kind of waterlogged to an extent, there's large puddles in some of the fields. There's one property near by us that uh, has a ton of a huge puddle in the corner of their lot that I'm sure would subside eventually, but. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is another part of the boat and background yet again, so just in case I didn't mention that <laughs> on the canvas here. There's quite a few L's here. It's quite a body of gray. Since it is in Leo of Canada today, some places weren't open. The grocery store was open and the pet store was open, so I went and bought cat food and put gas in my car. Uh, Dad and I 
bought coffee earlier. So coffee stores were open. It, it's a weird holiday. I had last Friday off for Canada Day, so. Holidays can be annoying, because if you want to do certain things that you need to do on certain days, uh, that business is usually closed. to talk about really <laughs> yeah it's just been a pretty laid-back day couldn't believe how busy the coffee shop was I guess it was normal customer volume for a Monday for a coffee shop so in town here I'd imagine some people got Friday off and then some people managed to get today off. Yeah, not sure entirely. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't get thunderstorms or anything in that deluge of water. Yeah, it's just rain. I've heard mentions of possibly getting thunderstorms, but yeah, they've never come to pass recently. It's interesting. But we can get like a hearty splash of rain instead of a thunderstorm, so. I don't think anybody really likes thunderstorms in the first place. Yeah, just kind of like fireworks are, just freaks pets out, that kind of thing. Yeah, 
it's not the most fun with for anybody. And when the power goes out, yeah, it's just not great. Our reliance on electricity is pretty hardcore. <laughs> Doesn't take much to stunt progress when you're doing stuff in general. General everyday activities. That can go to ruin fairly quick. Sun's been trying to come out today. It comes out in spurts, miniature spells. <laughs> yeah. Kind of sunny now, but yeah, clouds are trying to hide it. Mm. Uh, almost done the Great Wall of China for Conquer Challenge. 80 something kilometers left. Um, that's done. Yeah, let's keep going down here for. This is kind of more of a color block color. Yeah, it's more kind of clustered together. <laughs> I think there are this many L's, but no, oh, apparently so.
Yeah, I guess my dad had been down on the basement. He's off today, so. He just came up for a break, I guess. Kind of hurt the addition to Virgo. <laughs> Well, now inside it just looks like a, the rain never happened earlier. <sighs> I'm sure the ground's fairly, still fairly wet though. Nice sunny day, there's a bit of wind in the air now. And Dad and I saw like a, a single deer uh, in a wheat field hopping along. Yeah, it must have crossed the work road at one point but had made it safely over the road and uh, was just traveling across a wheat field like just hopping leaping to get ahead to get through the wheat I don't know why the deer just wouldn't walk through the wheat but Just decided to hop right through the field. I don't know if it gets them deer travel faster that way or it's a safety thing. It's an instinct kind of thing just to hop across a field like that. Don't know. This was like just outside town, yeah, just a couple fields in the area, and this deer was just out for a walk, out for a saunter. Yeah. Just a single one, I guess they can be fairly solitary animals if they want to Actually, see a couple of them. Maybe if there's like a pair, like a mates or whatever, maybe. But it's look like a single deer. I didn't see any others. It's just the one. Looked fairly young, maybe middle age. Whatever middle age means for a deer. Oh. <laughs> Didn't have established antlers. Or was it a doe, maybe? It was a female deer. Oh. I don't know. Nature, anyway. Their deer don't get along with cars. So, my dad's a little leery of deer since... Uh... He drives company car to him from work when he does have it. And I think he had a confrontation with a deer at one point with a company car. Yeah, that wasn't fun for anybody. He wasn't injured, but... Oh, but... Vehicles can get pretty damaged when a deer runs into them. Or was that my grandfather? It, it was somebody that, yeah, I'm related to. Ah, uh, maybe it was my grandfather a few years ago. Yeah, his vehicle got totaled. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was my dad.
think we need some more drills in the tray in a bit here. seeing a few L's on the side here, so before I miss them, just uh,
color is going to take me a bit longer. Really prominent in the prominent in this section, more so than I originally thought. There you go. At least this is filling in. But yeah, you've been watching Atkins Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile name, my Atkins Color Facebook business page. It's really just a website within Facebook. And my Instagram, all three, I just try to update simultaneously whenever I finish the section kind of thing. And I also post walking challenge info down below, uh, Conqueror and Pacer respectively, where I'm working on the Great Wall of China with a friend and uh, Return of the King uh, bundle of challenges for what Aragorn uh, does in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, his journey. And Pacer is Silk Road, a trading route in China, a series of trading routes. I've almost hit 3,000 kilometers out of 3,800. I'll be done that eventually. And just go from there. But other than that, yeah, not affiliated or partnered or sponsored by Conqueror Pacer, I just post those main website links just for perusal.
kind of thing. But yeah, other than that, take care with all your crafting endeavors slash hobbies. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.